Nine-year-old Umaya Rice Cummings loves horses, drawings, and making new friends. She is just like the most purest, sweetest child ever. But on August 15th, Umaya, who lives in Yorktown, stopped eating and drinking, and she had a fever of 103. Those symptoms to me sound like it was possibly COVID. Her mom and stepdad recently had COVID, so they rushed Umaya to urgent care twice actually that week, but she tested negative for COVID and strep. We didn't know what was wrong. By August 20th, she was rushed to CHKD, where doctors found her heart was inflamed. She went into the ICU where doctors diagnosed her with MIS-C, or multi-system inflammatory syndrome, a rare but serious complication of COVID-19. It can be deadly. At some point, she did have COVID and was just asymptomatic. It was just something that I just never even heard of. It was just mind blowing. Her case of MISC is one of two in the month of August alone at CHKD. They had a previous spike of MISC in February. In August, 39 children were actually hospitalized with COVID or MISC. And as of September 15th, 41 children have already been hospitalized with one of those illnesses and the month isn't over. This was the most devastating, like scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Like, and I'm sure it was for her too. Umaya spent 10 days in the hospital. Her mother, Taisha, hopes her story prompts parents to always be vigilant when their child isn't feeling well. So I just want parents to be aware of this Miss C because it is not known at all. Your child's life can depend on whether you act you know, act now or not. In Norfolk, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.